and we've got a beautiful Memorial Day weekend ahead and a lot of people are expected to head to the beach. So we want to quickly address safety on the coastline because there are some things you'll need to keep a lookout for uh, and here to give us uh, more insight on rip currents and the science behind them. You're all just being a runner. Safety first. You know, mm -hmm. we always give you a heads up. Now, there are no immediate beach hazard statements for the coastline, but that doesn't mean there's not dangers at the coast. So there's going to be several things to look out for. Now, if you're going to be enjoying the beach, of course, we want you to sunscreen all of the appropriate gear, take frequent breaks. But also, the San Francisco Fire Department is giving residents a heads up and folks visiting from out of town to please not swim at Ocean Beach. That is not a beach you want to go to for swimming. There is a lot of rip current activity near that area, especially when we're talking about in areas with breakers. Uh, maybe head to a place like Stinson Beach, which has lifeguards on duty mm, so they yeah. can keep a close eye on for just, you know, make sure things are good there. You know, when you talk about rip currents, I, I really don't know what I'm looking out for. So can you tell us how we could keep a lookout to keep ourselves safe? Yeah, I mean, you're right. I mean, it's, <laughs> you're like at the beach. Okay, what am I looking for? The water, the oceans, the, the <laughs> slamming of the waves, that all looks the same. Here's some visual cues you can look out for. If you're going to be heading to the beach. So first things first, a rip current, it's a narrow, fast moving channel that flows from the shore out to the sea. So if we zoom this in, pro tip, the best way to scan the beach is always going to be from a high vantage point. So mm -hmm. if you're heading to a coastline that has the ability where you can maybe hike up just a little bit so you can look out, right? Think lifeguard tower. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they get hype for a reason. Now you want to look for a break in the incoming wave pattern. So is there choppy or foamy water? That's a good visual. Mm -hmm. You ever seen foamy water around the coast? A lot, yes. Yeah, so look out for that. Another thing too, water moving away from the shore and then a deeper, darker water channel. But now that you've got these things in mind, let's give you an actual visual from the National Weather Service. And here it is. Take a look. Rip currents often form where sandbars are near the shore. They occur at breaks or channels in the bar. They're often difficult to see, but you can spot them in areas where waves aren't breaking or where there's foam, seaweed, or discolored water being pulled offshore. It's easier to see a rip current from higher up, such as from the beach access over dunes or a lifeguard's tower. Rip currents are a hazard for beachgoers, but by knowing the dangers and what to look for, you can avoid being caught in the grip of the rip. So be mindful and remember if you get caught in a rib current, don't try to swim against it. You want to swim it parallel to the water. Mm -hmm. uh, float, of course, to, if you can, to conserve energy and then just always keep an eye out for each other. Keep, you know, your head up if you've got, uh, hopefully go with someone so they can keep an eye on you as well. Okay. Enjoy the weekend, but stay safe. All right. Sounds good, Vianney. Thank you.